morning modern status. I got a good inside project we need to do today. So if I sound a little funny right now, I apologize. It's because I got a cold. I guess everybody else has been getting the plague this winter, so I'm not gonna complain about a little cold and a stuffy nose. So we'll get the apron on and we gotta grab a jar. So let's do that while we're in here too. Figure I was daydreaming of springtime and chasing birds, I think. All right, we need a wide mouth mason jar. I hope this works. I found this Johnny Appleseed looking pot that'll be perfect for this. Now that our oil is nice and warm, I got some organic beeswax. And they're little balls. They're not in a bar, so they should melt a little quicker. Stir everything up so it melts together nicely. All right, while the oil and beeswax is warming up and melting together, I'm gonna grab our other cutting board. This is something I told myself I wanted to do after our last pig harvesting class. We cleaned up the cutting boards and we lightly oiled them, but I ran out of a lot of oil and beeswax mixture. So now I'm gonna recoat all of our cutting boards and that way we'll be ready to cut on them whenever we need to and we'll be ready for our next class come April. Now I have my cutting board sitting in front of the wood stove just to help warm them up. If the wood is warm, it'll help draw the oil in deeper into the wood. And that's what we're really looking for. We're looking to penetrate the wood and have it to become part of the wood and just be in there and penetrated nicely. We'll bring our kitchen table back down. See, ooh, that's looking nice. Everything's melted, it's got a nice yellow tinge to it like the beeswax. That's ready for us. All right, let's bring this downstairs. Set it on the wood stove, keeping it warm until we're ready for it. All right, we've got our melted beeswax and mineral oil. Both of these are food grade safe. A lot of people use plain mineral oil for their cutting boards, which works awesome. But to me, the beeswax just makes it a little thicker. It makes it last longer. But the reason why I like melting it in mineral oil is it helps pull it into the wood more. And it just gives it a better protective layer. Now, at this point, it's gonna be hot. So you just need to be careful not to burn yourself. Now the more times we do this, the less we're gonna have to because your wood's gonna naturally become impregnated with the oil. So over time, you're gonna have this natural patina that's beautified your wood, makes it more durable, and just makes it easy to clean it. There's already a nice more patina on this side from using it, cutting it, and having the oils from the different foods we cut on it, the lard, and it's just amazing how the natural complexes all work together. And the nice part about using the cutting boards, whether it's these are cherries, so they get a deeper, darker red to them over time. Or maple, I have a maple one down here. It starts to get a better, deeper, richer yellow to it, which is awesome. You can just see all the beauty coming out of all of your wood. All right, we'll let this one set up. And I'll grab another one. 
All right, I guess I better take this one before I knock over a Jenga pile. The other nice thing about using natural products is when it gets on your hands, you don't have to worry about having rubber gloves on, or protecting your hands, and if it gets on my hands, it's just the natural lubricant. It just moisturizes my hands for me. My hands are gonna be smoother than Jeaner's. Shh, don't tell her that. I know like when we were butchering the pigs, that was one of the nice things, is your hands were nice and moisturized with a good natural coating. And Doug from Hand Hewn Farm was saying that, yeah, this time of the year, all his work calluses go away and he has nicer hands than his wife. And he's not even trying. You know, so that's just kind of a neat aspect about using the natural products. A lot of lip balms and lotions and stuff are gonna have beeswax in it. So, by coating our cutting boards, our hands are loving it too. Let's see if we can do this without knocking either one over and making a loud noise. I'll lean one right up. There we go. Whew. One handed. One of the other nice things I like about having wood cutting boards is these cherry ones, they just get a deeper red. You know, on the sap wood shows and it just adds more character. But the more you abuse them, you got your knife marks in them, your dings. It just adds more character and it adds more depth to it and more of a story. And when people see it, they are like, now that's a cutting board that's been used and loved and all the wonderful food that's made on it. And you know, everybody loves old butcher blocks. And so you can do the same thing with some old cutting boards. And it's not like a plastic one where you gotta worry about getting plastic in your food or you gotta worry about chipping it and if you mess it up too bad, you gotta throw it away. If you mess up a wood cutting board that bad, the worst thing you'd have to do is, is take out a piece of sandpaper, sand it down and re-oil it. You know, you just wanna make sure you keep giving it a couple of coats of oil every year. And then over time, you won't have to do it as much. And it smells wonderful. You get that beeswax in there and, oh, it just smells good. Gina will appreciate it because I'll have nice soft hands for a week or so. All right, we got one more cutting board, which is nice, we're doing a few at a time, so that way we can let this sit. The wood's gonna soak it in and then we can polish it off. All right, now we have the maple. And the maple's just got, it's not white anymore, it's got a nice hue to it. And it just, oh, all those marks and dents and dings, some people don't like, but I'll tell you what, I just see a story there. This is, this got used, some might say abused, but I don't think so. It got used and well used during our three day pig harvesting class. And that's what I think of when I see all these marks. This is from taking the meat cleaver and cutting up our pork chops and then packaging them up and that was just a fun time. And now I have that memory every time I look at my cutting board. One thing I was just thinking is, is I don't know if it's just the United States, so for people that aren't in the US, I'd love to get what you think about this. Uh, we don't have like a lot of heritage, I don't think, anymore in the United States. We don't, I don't know if it's just a cultural thing or if it's just the time in, that we're in in history or what, but. So for me to have a cutting board like this and to start doing, whether it's our harvesting, pig harvesting classes or just harvesting our own animals with them, and then every year I'll have the memories of it, it just makes me think back that way. Like we don't have that heritage. We don't have like every year, hey, we go to so-and-so's house and we harvest the pig that we've all been raising for the year and we all get to share in this beautiful food and this beautiful tradition. It just doesn't seem like there's all those traditions left. And I don't know if that's 
just something in the US or if that's something worldwide that we're losing all of our tradition. So I'd love to hear what you think about that in the comments down below. It's one of the things that I think about quite a bit. We don't have the community, we don't have the traditions. All right, so I'll let this sit for a minute. I'm gonna put the mineral oil and beeswax on the wood stove to keep it warm so we can put it into a glass mason jar and save it. Now, if you're gonna be doing this, which I recommend, don't be using your good rags. Take an old cloth or an old rag. Now I'm gonna wipe down the cutting boards. I'm not gonna get it all off. I'm just gonna get the heavy amount off and then I'll let them sit all day long. And then I'll give them a final polish tonight. But if you leave it too heavy, it's not gonna dry and it's not gonna soak in. So if you let them sit for about 15 minutes or so and then start wiping them down, the amount of oil that's gonna absorb into the wood is already gonna be taken in. And that's one of the things I really love about using natural products. It's they're not throwaway, and the more we use them, the more we use them, the more of a natural beauty patina they get to them. You know, like we have hardwood floors in the house, and sometimes Gina, you know, I cringe, it's like, oh, they got a dent in them. But then I think, you know what? We like old houses and we like old furniture that are all beat up and worn because it gives it character. Well, it's the same thing with our cutting boards or the floors at our house. The more they get used, the more of a natural patina they're getting. And that's why we like the natural products is they can do that. We can give them an abuse and have them get worn and we can put more finish on them and restore them. We don't have to throw them away like all this plastic garbage nowadays. Right here, I've had this one for 10 plus years and look at the color difference. They're both cherry. This one's had more use, it's been around more. Feeling it, it feels like a nice thick texture on it where this isn't as smooth. You can just feel all the oils in here and over time it's just getting more and more beautiful. Look at that. So over time, this cutting board is gonna look like this. So with all of our natural products, it takes time to get them to get that nice natural patina look to them, but it gets, takes the youth, it takes the stories. You know, sometimes you just can't buy that in the store. All right, I'm not gonna need that large mason jar. We used enough of that oil and beeswax up. It'll fit into a small mason jar. Here we go. Tell you what, it was a good to have a good chat with my good friends here. I got to get some work done. I got my cutting boards oiled. The best part is I got a manicure too at the same time, and I didn't even have to pay for it. Well, that's perfect. I got some nice smooth hands tonight. Ah. So I'm just gonna label this jar beeswax and mineral oil. That way next time I need to oil our butcher blocks. I can just come down, grab this, put it on the wood stove, heat it up, let it melt again, and we'll be good to go. That's just, look at that, that's a beautiful color. If you're new to the channel, now is a great opportunity to subscribe, turn on notifications while you're down there. I sound a little funny today, I'm sorry. <sighs> Go on over to lumnaacres.com. I'll put a link here in the description down below where you can sign up for our newsletter. And remember, we upload a video every day at 6 a.m. So we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye.